your boy Red Crimson 102 once again your famous youtuber that loves to unbox any and everything if video games have anything to do with it of course got a nice surprise for you guys today and guess what it is the one and only xbox series s now a buddy of mine asked me why why did you get the xbox series s good question i don't have an answer for that i actually think the series s is a waste of money and also for people who are broke and want an excuse on why they think the series s is great and they bought it me myself i'm a collector um hey listen i just got a series s man i don't even know why i do have the series x and the ps5 as you can see over there now um hey it's 300 bucks and i said to myself you know what let me go ahead and pick it up since i don't see it in the stores real often and see what it's all about pretty much see what the difference is between the series s and the series x but i already know the difference this is the reason why the Series S is $300 because it's a waste of time. It mostly plays all games in 1080p and if you're lucky, 144 p um, at 60. So you get, with this machine right here, you get 1080p at 60 frames per second. And you know, I guess for a lot of the games or some of the games or most of the games I know that sounds confusing at 120 FPS so this bad boy can play 1080p 60 and 120 FPS on some games and 144p like I said on some games if you're lucky but mostly 1080p um, if you're into 4k gaming true next gen gaming this is not a console for you to get if you're broke then yes but then again my xbox one x can do 4k at 30 and some games 60 and the funny thing about it is this feels like a step back because the xbox one x actually has better graphics than the xbox one s ain't that crazy and this is supposed to use a new gpu you can also check that information out on Digital Foundry where they do a comparison between the Xbox Series S and the Xbox One X that came out several years ago. And they also pit this against the Series X. Series X versus Series S. You can check that out on Digital Foundry and you'll see what I mean. You'll see how the games run in 1080p, 60 FPS. It's a smooth 60 though, so that's a good thing. So every game, mostly all the games, is gonna run at 60. And some games, a select few, 120 FPS. So again, if you want true next generation console gaming, this Xbox Series S is not for you. It's actually a waste of money. I would say go with a more $500 Series X. But I just got this system to see how it really looks. I really want to see it with my own eyes and test it out on my very good LG C10 TV and see how it looks, see if there's a big, big difference. So that's the reason why I bought it. So more than likely, I'll probably be returning this thing. I would love to give it to my daughter though, but we'll see. All right, guys, stay tuned for the unboxing. All right, all right, all right. Now, guys, we're ready for the unboxing. Let me 
time that you guys take a good look. Get a good look at the console. Those are the features. Comes with a console, wireless controller, high speed HDMI cable. And of course you guys already know that this doesn't come with a disk drive. This is the all digital Series X. Series F. Excuse me guys, sorry for that mistake. Trying to figure out where the how do you even open this thing? Okay. Like I said, guys, the Series S is a waste of money. You better off saving your money and get the Series X. Don't be like those guys who bought the Series X. Because they couldn't afford it. It's kind of also, it's kind of almost feel like an impulse buy. But as I said in the beginning of the video, ah, I just want to see. It. Don't worry, guys. I didn't cut myself right there. Almost dead. That'll be your first. As I was saying, don't be like some of those guys who bought the Series X. I can't the Series X. Series S. Don't be one of those people that bought it because they didn't have the money. Wow, look how small this thing is. Wow, I'm crazy. That's crazy. Wow, this thing is small. This thing is small. Small this is. This thing is super small. Wow. It's a nice, cute little stand thing. Wow. This thing is tiny. I will admit though guys, the Series S is really, really sexy. Wow, this thing is sexy. It's not that heavy either. Definitely does Series X a lot heavier than this. So, yeah, the Ethernet port. Your two USB ports to plug in your hard drives or any external uh, device. You have your HDMI out that connects to the TV. Your restored expansion. And you have your AC adapter, your adapter cord, your power cord. Love and I love that new console smell. You have your power button, your sync button, and the third USB port. Come on guys, you already know when you get a new console you always gotta sniff it. Wow, love that new console smell. Um Instructions showing you how to insert a battery. Another description that I just explained to you guys about what a power cord. The power cord is the Ethernet USB slots and HDMI slots located. You know it kind of sucks. 
didn't come with a at least a one month Xbox Live Game Pass. That would have been awesome. This is a nice looking console. I love it. It looks really nice. I just noticed something guys, it didn't come with a controller. It actually didn't come with anything. Oh, really? Wow. Hmm. Well, what do you know, guys? I don't, I don't know if I got gypped, but... It doesn't come with anything. That's crazy. It says it right here. It includes wireless controller, high speed cable. That's where it says it comes with a controller. I don't see the controller. Oh, 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 man, you guys are gonna, oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. I thought I got got there for a minute. I thought it only came with a console itself. But there's a little compartment right here. Wow, it was staring me right it was staring staring me right in the face and I didn't even see it. So you guys remember we you might see these as this compartment right here that houses the rest of the components. Wow, that's funny. Alright, so you have the HDMI, 4K rated HDMI cord right here you got the power cable of course Box 1S controller. And you get the Duracell batteries. Alright, there you have it, folks. This is what comes with the Xbox Series S, the console controller, power cable, and HDMI cable, and double Duracell batteries. Now guys, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I opened up the box and all I saw was a console and I didn't see the components, the controller, the HDMI cable, or the power cord. So I thought I got got. I'm like, hold on. Like, so it only comes with a console. You just assume that you already have a, a extra controller, extra HDMI card, excuse me, extra HDMI card and a power cord. Well, for the most part, most of us do. I know I do. I have several controllers and several components laying around like HDMI cables, but wow, um, this packaging threw me for a loop. But you guys got to remember when you buy the console, 
remember this white part right here this, this flat This flap right here is where you keep, is where you'll find the controller and the HDMI and the power cable. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was hilarious. You get a good look. Yeah, guys, so that's what it is. All right, all right. All right, all right. You just saw the unboxing for the new Xbox Series S. Let's hold it up like a trophy. This thing is, it's not really all that heavy. Got a little, it feels like you're holding like maybe one brick in your hand probably. But that was the unboxing of the CVs S. If you guys have this console, let me know what you think about it. And why did you choose the CVs S over the CVs X or even the PS5? This thing, of course, you guys already know, doesn't have a disk drive. Mostly for 1080p gaming, 140p. 144p resolution gaming at a stable 60 fps sometimes 120 fps depending on what game you're playing um i'm i have to admit man i think this console looks a lot better than the cvs x it's 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 small nice white and sleek awesome looking controller definitely awesome looking controller but because it's white I'm pretty sure this thing will get dirty so remember guys if you decide to get the CVs S keep it clean oh oh and almost forgot this is 512 gigabytes but I think realistically when you turn a console on you have 356 gigs available which is not enough most games take up 100 gigs 90 gigs 60 gigs so you won't be having to store a lot of games on this system you probably have to end up getting an expansion card a one terabyte card two terabyte card that actually plugs into the back right here you can see the expansion slot where you can buy the expanded memory memory cards and I, I don't even know how much it costs I believe they start at $200 and up and see that's the thing you might as well just save the extra $200 slap it onto the $300 and buy the Series X for $500 and just call it a day and you have close to almost one terabyte of storage that was it guys Series S unboxing plus a little mini review at least that's how I feel um i'm gonna do rigorous texting on this thing play a whole bunch of games on this bad boy and see what it looks like with my own eyes and on my lg cx tv and this you know go from there just judge the system peace out red crimson 102 if you're new to this channel you already know what to do like and subscribe so my video keeps circulating on youtube It'll help me out a lot. <laughs> it will help me out a lot. Excuse my speech, guys. I can't talk today. Peace out.